This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. We've seen in an earlier module about how to filter a report by a date parameter. Now we run into a few problems at that point. Here's our basic sales report, which is in your working folder. If we look at our database fields and turn on the facility to see the field type, you can see that our order date is a date time field, which requires that our parameter field is a date time parameter. And then you get the time evolved and it starts to become a little complicated and a little messy. There is a way of working around that. And that is by using a formula field to convert the order date, which is a date time field, into a straightforward date, effectively chopping off the time element. So we need a new formula field. So we select the formula field, right click, new. I'm going to call it order date only. OK. We're into our formula workshop, which I will maximize again. And we will use the cdate function. Notice how it goes blue, so it understands. And that will convert to a date whatever I place in brackets here. And I'm going to place in brackets the order date field. And then close those round brackets. So the field has the squiggly parentheses around it. And the function uses open round, open close. Check works fine. Save and close. Back to the report. I will then like to add a parameter field. So that's a new parameter field. We'll call it date param. It's a date field this time. Although I'm looking at filtering a date time data field, I'm actually looking at filtering the formula field, which is just a date. And we'll change the prompting text to select required date. And we'll allow a range. Allow a range of values. True and OK. So we've created a formula field, which we haven't used yet, there's no tick there, and we've created a parameter field. We now need to use our select expert, not on the product name, but on the formula field, order date only, to say it is equal to, and there's our parameter, because it's the same data type as the data type of the formula field. OK. We then get our parameter prompting box, and you'll notice that the calendar, when selecting a date, let's go back a couple of years, is just showing the date. No mention of the time as there was before. Let's come through to 1st of December, and then OK. And that has filtered this field, the formula field. It now has a tick on it because it's been used in the select expert, and our parameter has been used as it has that little question mark and that symbol. So just to recap, we wanted to filter by the order date field, but that's in a date time format. So to make life a little easier, we firstly convert that to just the date format using the cdate function. We can have a quick look at that in there. So it's cdate convert date, and the order date becomes the value to convert. And then the parameter is being used in our select expert not to filter against the order date field, but against our formula field which is just in date format, and everything works fine.